to the holiday. Oh. Welcome back to the holiday edition of Maggie's Messy Kitchen, where we make a mess but also rejoice. Today we're gonna to be making a really fun drink. I did a poll on my Instagram for all of my Instagram fans. You know, all of them. And it was either this vodka drink um, or this gin drink. And everybody chose vodka. You guys just love good Grey Goose, just like me, I guess. It's made with vodka, lime juice, a little bit of honey, um, grapefruit juice, Sorry, it's a lime. It's really simple. There's really not that many ingredients. That's why I'm like, what the fuck is even in this drink? You top it with ginger beer, and it's completed with a sugar mint rim. Should we get started? Let's do it. Holiday style. The, 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 the Grinch. Okay, first, I'm going to put up my hair. Some of the women in my life who also pretend that they are healthy inspectors and think that this is a restaurant and that people more than just me and the cameraman are eating this so they're worried about hairs in the food. I'll be putting up my hair. I just roll up my sleeves like a profesh. Now everyone's gonna yell at me for getting sequins in my food. Oh, one, one more thing. Did you want to move that trash can or just leave that where it is? Everybody, just... we have a trash can. <laughs> if you didn't know it. <laughs> Do you have a trash can? Leave it in the comments below. Okay, first I'm just gonna chop up some mint leaves. So this is for the sugar mint rim that we have going on for this drink. Seems like toothpaste on a cold winter's day. Okay, so there's our like semi not ch finely chopped, semi not chopped finely mint. That's what I want to say. I'm going to do this with some that. Slimey boy. One of my favorite things to do is to salt and sugar rims. I think it's so satisfying to see it come up and it's all gorgeous. Ready? Wow. <laughs> okay, that one wasn't great, but second time's a charm. Our cute little festive sweater glasses. Cute. That's the ticket. That's the look we want. See those little green deets? The little green minty leaves of freshness and toothpaste. Okay, we're gonna fill our little shaker. Sorry for the noise. Um, oh, also, this recipe is from a website called Half Baked Harvest. I see them a lot on Pinterest. She has a lot of really yummy and fun recipes and you should totally go check her out. Don't know who she is, but shout out to Half <laughs> Baked Harvest. <laughs> so I'm gonna do four ounces of vodka, Grey Goose, any type of your choosing, but you know. If you've been watching, I think almost every video I've used Grey Goose. I think so, actually. Answer me, yo. This calls for juice from half a lime, and because I have this, this normal lime juice, I'm just gonna use this. So I think that's about one ounce of lime juice. Juice some half of a small grapefruit, okay. I don't think there's anything such as a small grapefruit, so this is the smallest grapefruit I could find. <laughs> uh, oh. That is beautiful. This should be in the Louvre. This should be in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Just a cut of grapefruit. Look at that beauty. Christmas gems from the mines of Santa Claus. Watch out, you might be in the splash zone. <laughs> Ooh, it's steamy in here. That's a good sound. <clears throat> oh yeah, baby. Did you juice it? I juiced it. I'm juiced. <laughs> Looks like a cavernous vagina. <laughs> she squirts. Wrong crowd. Wrong crowd. <laughs> NSFW, not safe for work. Oh, look at our Christmas towels. Okay, so we did the grapefruit juice, we did the lime juice. Uh, two, what is it, two teaspoons of honey. Get out of my swamp. Oh, and now the secret ingredient is a little 
jalapeno. Ooh. That's what makes this drink a little spicy Grinch, not just a sweet Grinch. So I'm just gonna do like three of these little jalapeno things in here, and then we're gonna add more into our glasses when we're ready to pour. So we have, for two drinks, we have four ounces of vodka, about one ounce of lime juice, about half of a medium-ish grapefruit, about 0.25 ounces of honey, and three little wedges of jalapeno. And now we're gonna shake her. Shake her in the shaker. Woo! Shaking, holiday edition. with some ginger beer. So let's see. She's the right color. Perfect. And we're just gonna do a little topper. And one we'll garnish with a little rosemary sprig. Cute! I don't really like jalapenos to begin with, so this is a big thing for me. It is, good job. Thank you. So we have our sweet and spicy Grinch cocktails. Perfect for the holiday. Wanna try? Yeah, let's have do it. Try? Let's try them. Here we are. So here's our spicy sweet Grinch cocktail that we just created. All right, cheers. Cheers. To the holidays. To the holiday. The holiday season. The festivus for the rest of us. Whoa. <laughs> I legit like this a lot. Ooh. Ooh. That freaking is freaking good. You get like the like the honey and then like the tanginess of the fruit and then the ginger beer. Oh yeah. It's really nice. And the, the um sugar rim is really the sugar rim is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely like taste the spice from the my dancing rosemary. <laughs> <laughs> and the honey adds like a nice holiday sweetness to it. Holiday sweetness. <laughs> and the jalapeno mm -hmm. makes it like spicy. Yeah, and the jalapeno makes them <laughs> makes them grinchy. Grinchy, it makes him like the Grinch. <laughs> Max, fetch my sleigh. I love you, Max. I love you, <laughs> I would definitely recommend putting this on your Christmas to-do list or even your Hanukkah to-do list because it is a very yummy, full-flavored, spicy, fun, unique drink. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Here we are in front of our Christmas tree. She's gorgeous. She's plump. <laughs>